Now, I'm going to have a cup of coffee today and uh, discuss our show for tomorrow. Our, we're going to talk about tomorrow's show. We're going to have a cup of coffee. And uh, just, we had a great show last night, and I want to thank everybody that was here for last night's show. Um, so I wanted to go over a few things. I'm going to grab a cup of coffee first and take you guys with me. But we're going to have a cup of coffee, and then we'll talk about uh, take you guys over here. Got the coffee pot over here. I'm going to grab some coffee real quick. Got my rainforest rescue cup, man. Save the trees, right? Not as big in the trees, especially in Arizona. If you live in Arizona, you really learn to appreciate trees. Everybody in Arizona loves trees. You gotta love trees because it's so doggone hot here. In this, it's like hot all year round, it feels like anymore. So yeah, I was gonna grab a cup of Joe, have a cup of coffee, and uh, and celebrate uh, with you guys. <laughs> Discuss uh, tomorrow's show. We got a, I got, a, I got a great idea for tomorrow's show. So I was wondering what you guys thought about tomorrow's show. And uh, try not to get right up in your face. I'm sorry about that. But no, we had a we had a really good show last night. I hope you guys liked it if you were there. And I just want to say hello and get you guys put over here with me. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna have a cup of coffee. We're gonna talk about the show and uh, we're gonna talk about loneliness, loneliness, the 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 feelings of loneliness and the growing concerns. Of, of being lonely and dealing with being lonely and you know it's not something that we really think about being lonely but it is becoming a growing problem and there's various reasons for that you know it's a kind of a somewhat complicated uh, uh problem i'll try to plug you guys in sorry about that bouncing you guys around a little bit so yeah um the growing concerns, the growing problem uh, of loneliness and dealing with loneliness. Um, COVID came along and changed our lives. And think about the effects that that had on society as a whole. And not just in the U.S. of A., but all around the world, uh, people are struggling with loneliness. And um, I want to talk about it tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock Arizona time. So we're going to discuss loneliness. And um, I need to get some of you guys, uh, some of you ladies, excuse me. I, I um, posted on my YouTube channel that I need I need somebody. I need Micah K. Micah K. and Tamara Alien Lady, the alien lady that was on. I need you guys to drop a comment so I can... Uh, grab your link and make you guys moderators. Um, can't seem to figure out how to pull it off of the uh, stream StreamYard app that I was using. So kind of ran into a problem. I'm just a one man operation, you know, trying to run this whole YouTube thing. So uh, yeah, I, I wanted to uh, get with you all about that. So I can make you so I can make you moderators. You guys are doing a great job last night. I really appreciate it. So, um, so yeah, I, uh, and then the other thing was, uh, trying to figure out a time and I think I had, uh, I think it was Tamara or I can't remember who it was. I thought it was Tamara, but, uh, one of, one of you guys, one of you ladies had phoned in and we were talking about having a regular set scheduled time to do these shows. And I, I think, uh, eight o'clock would be a really good time to start like at eight o'clock at night. I'm thinking maybe we'll start doing Monday through Friday. Uh, we'll discuss different topics and we'll see how it goes. And then if you guys are interested, maybe Saturday, uh, maybe we can reach out to the killer again. If you're interested in that, I'm taking a poll. Some people are saying, don't do it again. And some people are saying, yes, go ahead and do it again. Try it again. So I'm going to wait and see, uh, what the results are. We'll give, probably give it a day. And, you know, right now I think we're like at 80 something percent. Most everybody says, is saying, yeah, try it again. And if that and if that's what you guys want, we'll save it for Saturday. We'll do that again, and we'll see if we can get the killer to come onto the show. I'll give him the phone number and I'll say, "Hey, uh, you want to you know change your mind?" But we got to spread the word on that. If we're going to do that, we got to get the 
you know, like the video, share it, all that good stuff. Cause we want the killer to see the video. We want, we need to get his attention and I want to talk to him. I would love to talk to him. I would love to, you know, let him talk and, you know, say what he wants to say. You know, I'd enjoy that. You know, Hey, what's, why'd you kill them? So, yeah, I mean, if that's what you guys are interested in, you like to see that again, we'll do it on Saturday. But I want to see if I get enough hits, for, if everybody's, you know, really wanting to see this because, you know, maybe, maybe it's not what people want to see. So, uh, yeah, it was, I, I think you guys, uh, we, it seemed like we had a really good show last night. I was actually quite impressed, and um, I was like, well, hey, you know, we'll, we'll do it again. I, I thought it was really cool. I, uh, hey, Emma Lee's in the house. Emma Lee says hello. Hello, Emma Lee. Welcome. Uh, good morning. Uh, well, you know, I think, I think it's like in the afternoon. <laughs> I don't even know what time it is right now. I just, I, I was, uh, out in the yard doing some stuff. You know, today's like an off day, but I wanted to just, uh, shoot a live stream real quick and have a cup of coffee with you guys. I'm drinking some Starbucks, some Veranda. Veranda. I'm not even sponsored by Starbucks, but I love Starbucks coffee. I just, you know, get get the whole bean and grind it and make it here at my house, you know. And then, and yeah, the wife likes it. I like it. It's pretty good stuff. I don't know you guys like Starbucks. Starbucks cheaper the cheaper to make it at home than to go buy it at the store. You go to the, you know go to the local Starbucks. It costs a fortune, but but yeah. Anyway, so uh, tomorrow night show is all about loneliness. And if you guys want to call in or you ladies want to call in. Maybe you have a story of your own on loneliness. Maybe you, maybe you're lonely. Maybe, uh, maybe you were you were not lonely, and then COVID came along, and COVID uh, kind of created this own little problem with loneliness. Um, uh, M4SL says, "What made you want to create a place for the killer to talk? What made me want to do that?" Well, you know, I was I was thinking like, and I have a conversation with Shay. I had a conversation with Shay and Shay uh, and I were talking and, and, and actually I presented this to her before I even went uh, live with that. And I said, you know, think of like, how are we going to find this guy? I mean, if there's like, if we're at the point where we're doing uh, satellite imagery and they're saying they don't have any clues, they don't have anything to go on. Well, you know, maybe we should try a different approach. You know, and if maybe we were able to get this guy to talk and, you know, we can actually get him on and get him to talk, then, uh, you know, it might be provide some information and maybe we can even convince the guy to turn himself in. You know, I know it's kind of a, a Hail Mary and you're throwing, a, a, you know, it's kind of like a long shot, but you never know. Maybe the guy uh, would actually want to talk. You just never know. You might want to come on and, um, you know, stranger things have happened, you know, so. You know, hey, you just never know. Uh, don't kid yourself. Social media is very powerful. Uh, you'd be surprised at how powerful social media really is. And there's a good possibility the guy goes on YouTube or the lady or whoever, whoever it might be. There's a good possibility they were watching last night and just didn't want to call. But, you know, if you guys are interested or you guys and ladies, uh, if you're interested, I, I placed a uh, poll on my YouTube channel. Please go on there and uh, hit yes or no if you guys are interested or if you're not interested. If you want me to do it again on Saturday, because we'll do it again on Saturday at 8 p.m. Arizona time. Uh, Ryan Plays, uh, good morning. Good morning, good morning, Ryan Plays. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Uh, just It's just a quick uh, cup of coffee having with you guys talking. I want to thank you all that were on last night. I really appreciate that. I got some new subscribers and I want to welcome you. I want to and thank you guys. I really, truly do appreciate it. So tomorrow night, we're going to talk about loneliness. A uh, growing problem, a growing concern is loneliness. A lot of people, uh, another uh, class of people we don't think about very often is senior citizens, retirees, senior, senior citizens that are in nursing homes alone with no one to talk to. And especially when COVID hit, you know, all of a sudden it was like, not only were they lonely before, but now it was like complete isolation. Like family members couldn't even go inside to visit. They actually like had to talk through a window. So, uh, and some people couldn't even talk through a window because they didn't have a window. So, I mean, uh, you know, if you're up on an up, upper floor somewhere, maybe you're, you know, some of these retirement centers have got like multi-levels and, uh, 
you couldn't even go see them. And, you know, maybe some of these people are, are uh, low income and they don't even have a, a, the ability to purchase at like an iPhone or any of that stuff. And they're unable to communicate. So think about that, you know, think about how loneliness affects people that we don't even think about loneliness, the growing concern and the growing problem of loneliness, not, not only in America, but around the globe. I mean, especially when COVID hit, when we were completely isolated, they said, hey, the government came in and said, hey, we're, we're going to shut everything down. Everybody's going to be on lockdown. You're not going to be able to go outside. And in fact, I think it's happening right now. And from what I understand, there's like another wave of this pandemic that's going around. And, and it's they're saying right now, Europe's getting hit really hard for whatever reason. It's like making another cycle. And they're, they're starting to lock people down and say, hey, you know, we're going into curfews or shutting it down. People are going to be isolated once again. So if that was to happen here again, which I pray it doesn't, but if it did, you're going to have an increasingly higher amount of loneliness. People that, you know, are no longer able to socialize with their friends and their family and stuff like that. So so anyway, we'll go more into it tomorrow night on the show. But maybe you have your own story of loneliness. Maybe you lost a loved one or something. Maybe a spouse passed away or you went and got uh, divorced or maybe you're just uh, in somewhere. Uh, maybe you're in the military or something and you're, you know, on the other side of the globe and you can't talk or whatever, you know, whatever the case might be. So, yeah, we'll talk about that tomorrow. Uh, let me know if you if what you think of the idea of talking for about loneliness the topic of loneliness, uh, you know, especially here in America, but not only in America. It, it, I think it's a big problem. Oh, Micah K, I was looking for you. Micah K, uh, I need you. Okay, I think uh, now that you're chatting in here, I might be able to grab you because I got to, uh, you know, I apologize. I'm like an older guy. So some of this technology, I'm, I'm still learning it. So I'm trying to figure out how to grab your, so to make you a moderator, I got to figure out how to grab your, uh, your account and throw it into my account. Uh, put because I gotta put link you into my uh, moderator box to make you a moderator. Because Mike, uh, Mike K, I'm gonna make a moderator. Uh, um, I, okay, I made Sunshine Moonbeams a, mo a moderator. Uh, I need Tamara. I need Tamara, the alien lady. I need her. Uh, is there anybody else on here that wants to be a moderator? That while well, I got you in here, I don't know anybody else wants to be a moderator on my channel. It's uh. Oh, Ryan Place. Uh, Ryan Place says, yes, we just came out of three months of lockdown in Sydney, Australia. Wow. God bless you. Uh, yeah. I mean, I can't even imagine. See, that's what I'm talking about. Loneliness, being locked down like that and not being able to socialize, not being able to go see your friends or family members and how that affects your mental health. You know, and we'll talk about that uh, tomorrow night show at eight o'clock on Arizona time in the, in the USA or in the US of A, but I love Australia. I always, when I, every time I talk about Australia, I talk about your kangaroos. I, I would, I would just, I, I'm fascinated with kangaroos. You know, I really truly am. And I always bring that up when I think about Australia, but so yeah, uh, yeah, locked down for three months. Think about that. That's brutal. You know, three months of uh, I think what we had two weeks in the USA where they locked us down, you know, really couldn't go anywhere. And, it, and it's like some places are still kind of like that. It's lightened up a little bit, but uh, I've been reading news reports that there's another wave going around and there's growing concerns that uh, if we get hit again here, like we did, uh, you know, it might be, a, we might be facing lockdowns. I hope not. I really hope not. I don't, I definitely don't want to go through that again. Uh, some good coffee here, guys and uh, girls. But yeah, so locked down for three months in Sydney, Australia. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that. That's brutal. So yeah, they just came out of it. So how's everything now in Australia? Is it better? Is it, uh, you know, three months of lockdown, not, not being able to go anywhere? And does that really uh, solve the problem? You know, uh, lockdown, does it really solve the problem? So yeah, so anyway, um, I need, uh, let me see, uh, Tamara, the alien lady, I need to get her to respond. Anybody else want to be a moderator? If you want to be a moderator, uh, please leave me a comment if you're interested in being a moderator on the program. And because um, we're going to be taking a lot of calls, I think, tomorrow night. And uh, it kind of helps out, uh, you know, because as we grow, I think we need more moderators to kind of keep an eye on the chat. And, um, you know, I appreciate all the hard work the moderators do. That's a that's a tough job trying to keep control of the chat room. 
So if you're interested, let me know. I'll, I'll put you in as a, a moderator if you're interested. So yeah, we're uh, growing the channel. We've got a larger audience. I'm still a small YouTube guy, but we're just kind of, you know, little by little we're growing, you know I mean? It's just kind of, I really haven't, uh, but just barely started. I got these ideas and even going bigger and better and doing all kinds of neat stuff. But I was thinking a good topic for a program for a show on Monday night would be loneliness. Uh, what do you guys think about talking about loneliness? Anybody got any stories maybe you'd like to share tomorrow? Think about it if you want to come on and talk about it. So, uh, yeah, they uh, they asked about the, the killer thing. Uh, what made you come up with that? And like I said, uh, um, the whole killer thing was like kind of, well, you know, when you're running out of options and you're thinking, well... I wouldn't rule it out that the guy wouldn't want to talk. There's always a possibility that maybe the guy that killed Kylan and Crystal, maybe uh, we can convince him to talk and maybe uh, we'll try to get on Saturday. Uh, if you guys want to try that again, let me know. I uh, want to find out who wants to wants to do that again on Saturday. We'll try it one more time. Which we'll hit it again and spread the word. Uh, you know, if you guys are interested in that, we'll, we'll, we need to share it, share that information. Uh, Get it out on TikTok and everything because we got to try to get this guy to see that that I'm reaching out to him because I'm not I'm not part of law enforcement. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna go track track the guy down, but if we can get him to talk, you know, it'd be an interesting concept. I think get him to talk. We never know. Maybe he wants to talk about it. Maybe he doesn't want to talk about it. But hey, if he does, it'd be an opportunity. It'd be a real opportunity. So yeah, anyway, it's a uh, Sunday morning here in beautiful El Mirage, Arizona. We got people from Australia chiming in. So yeah, wherever you're at in the world, I hope you're doing well. It's uh, just a beautiful Sunday morning and we had a great show last night. Even got pranked by Howard Stern last night. Howard Stern, boy, his how we had the Howard Stern posse in the house last night. So maybe that'll help too, you know, we start moving up and maybe draw more attention to the the Crystal Kylan case, you know, from Howard Stern, that'd be a big help, wouldn't it? You never know. So anyway, yeah, it's just a beautiful morning, and I wanted to sh talk to you guys about the show for tomorrow, and I wanted to thank you for all the hard work you guys did last night and the support. We got a growing audience. I mean, you guys are absolutely amazing. I'm very impressed and proud of you, and I greatly appreciate that. And we're just going to keep uh, coming up with more topics to discuss and more more cold cases to find out. Hey, we got Sober Trades in the house. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sober Trades is my my friend. He's a he's a fellow YouTuber. So shout out. I gotta gotta give my man a shout out. Uh, Sober Trades. Uh, Sober Trades. He's a uh, another YouTuber about finance investments. If you guys uh, are interested in learning about trades, learning about uh, investing, and Buying and selling stocks. Uh, hit up my friend, fellow YouTuber, uh, Sober Trades. Thank you, Sober Trades. I appreciate that, my friend. Been trying to keep. Have you done any uh, highly on videos? I've been busy covering the Kylan Schulte thing and all that, and maybe I have to bring Sober Trades in live. We'll have to bring him in. Yeah, right on, buddy. Yeah, he says he's laughing. He says thanks, buddy. Like the diversity of your channel. Yeah, I'm. You know, I'm an older guy. I've got like a, a variety of things that I that I want to do. I don't want to just uh target one thing but i'm trying to find things that my audience enjoys because i got to make it where it's, it's you know you know because i think uh for me if i just cover the same thing day in and day out i'm gonna get burned out you know i gotta do something i enjoy and i'm passionate but i gotta find something that you know the audience enjoys and and that's what i'm here for i gotta find something they like and something i like and if i can find a happy medium you know, because I can't just talk, like like I said, I, the one thing I can't do is politics. I can't talk politics. I just I, I don't know. There's guys that do that. Like, you know, like we all know about Rush Limbaugh, guys like that. But I can't just pound uh, politics day in and day out. I'll, I'll rip my hair out of my head. What I, what I got left of my hair, I'm going to ripping it out. I just uh, couldn't do it. Um, Micah, K, uh, Micah K says I would just uh, put out there if anyone was in, in the Moab or LaSalle, LaSalle area. Give a call. Yeah. Yeah, give, yeah. Well, I could do that. So uh, Teresa Nelson said, what's up tomorrow night? Uh, just talking about the show that I'm going to talk about tomorrow night. We're going to go on at eight o'clock tomorrow night, Arizona time, because I'm in Arizona. 
I always got to say Arizona time because uh, we don't turn our clocks. You know, like you guys might live in a part of the country where you turn your clocks. I know a lot of people do, but Arizona, we don't turn our clocks. So we're always on the same time. So I always have to be specific and say uh, Arizona time. Uh, so, uh, yeah, to, uh, tomorrow we're going to talk about uh, loneliness, our show at eight o'clock tomorrow night. We're going to talk about loneliness and the, the growing problem of loneliness we don't think about it. It's a, it's actually a problem that is kind of, a, you know, really not discussed. It's kind of one of those topics that eh, you know, loneliness, nobody really talks about it, uh, but it is a problem. It is a problem. Uh, loneliness uh, can lead into things like depression and grow from there and other things. But we want to, we're going to go over some articles uh, tomorrow night that I found. And I'll, I think you guys will be very intrigued and it's going to be interesting the whole concept of loneliness. What causes loneliness and why is it a problem? Uh, and why are so many of people affected by loneliness, especially when this COVID thing hit, you know? So when COVID hit, uh, loneliness kind of developed its own little thing and it, it really grew into a bigger problem. And a lot of people are lonely. I mean, like I was uh, talking earlier about senior citizens, retirees, People 85 years old, 75, 85 years old, they're in a nursing home, uh, nursing home uh, or perhaps they're in a hospice center, they're in a retirement center. And, and it was bad enough that nobody would visit them anyway. But now you, br you, know, you, you bring in this uh, pandemic, you know, and so now that nobody wants to go see them. So you got people sitting there that haven't had anybody come and talk to them or visit them in years. I'm serious. There's people sitting in retirement centers that uh, years, years have gone by and not one single family member has gone in to say hi, give them a Christmas present, give them a hug, anything. You know, you think, uh, oh, you're, you're all great, great grandma or your grandmother sitting in a nursing home and nobody goes to see her. Nobody goes to visit her. And, you know, uh, loneliness. Yeah, it's almost a uh, criminal, isn't it? I would think. I mean, it, it's really a shame, but but it is a growing problem, especially in America. Uh, my friend, I'm going to the comments here. We got Sober Trades, my buddy. Sober Trades says, I've been slacking on making content. Been too busy with the kids and et cetera. And the, oh, his wife's been upgrading some schooling. So she's been using the PC for that. So tougher to find time to make some content soon, hopefully. Yeah, that's all right, my friend. I know I get it. I'm, I mean, YouTube's like that. I mean, it's time consuming. And my, my, I, you got my respect, Sober Trades. Uh, uh, Margaret Scraper was on the other day. He's probably, like, hey, what's going on? This guy's covering all this other stuff. You know, I kind of, uh, you know, like I said, I've done a lot of different things. But uh, YouTube's a lot of work. Social media is a lot of work. And, it, and for me, being an older guy, uh, there's a big learning curve trying to learn the the software. You know, you got it because you got to have, the, you know, you got to go out and purchase the software. And that's part of it. And it's costly. But then you got to learn how to actually operate the software. You got to know how to edit and for me, you know, I, I grew up when we didn't even know what Google was, you know. So, I mean, some of you younger guys, you know, you guys are growing up with this stuff. So, for you, it's a lot easier. But for a guy like my age, it's, it's a lot more work and it takes a lot more time to learn it. So, man, I, but, but no, you younger guys, man, I'm just impressed. You guys make some amazing, like, especially the thumbnails you guys make. I'm like, man, how do they figure out those thumbnails? I mean, you guys do some really cool stuff. Some of the younger the younger guys out here, really good, uh, really good on some of the editing they do. I'm really proud of you guys. Uh, Sober Trade's got some really cool stuff. Yeah, check out his channel for those of you interested in uh, finance. Uh, Sober Trades, he's got a lot of cool stuff. And uh, you can learn how to buy and sell, uh, trade stocks and invest with uh, Sober Trades. Uh, what we got here? We got Micah K saying, people are lonely, more lonely today than they've ever been six, uh, since technology. And isn't that true? It really is true. It's a, it's a it's a growing problem. It's kind of kind of like the elephant in the room that nobody really wants to talk about it. So, but we're going to talk about it tomorrow, and maybe I get you to call in and share your story if you're dealing with loneliness, or maybe you've been lonely at some point in your life, and you know, because loneliness, you know, sometimes it creates depression. You know, people are sad, depressed, and we'll talk about it. You know, we'll talk about it tomorrow night at eight o'clock Arizona time. Uh, Ryan Play says, yes, it was tough, but we are at 90% double vaxxed. Wow, that's in uh, Australia. So they're double vaxxed, double vaccinated. Huh? Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> Ryan Play says, kangaroos are gorgeous. My parents used to have them roaming in their backyard. Oh my goodness, that's funny. And QLD, I don't know what QLD stands for, 
but I would, you know, I've, like I said, I love uh, kangaroos. I've always been fascinated with kangaroos. And I just, I don't know. It's just, I guess it was just because when I was a kid, you know, like, okay, you guys, some of you may or may not remember a guy, a man by the name of Captain Kangaroo. He was kind of like the Mr. Rogers, but he was, he's kind of his own, had his own style, just a, a kind of a, a funky guy, but he was really a nice guy. And, and he, but we called him Captain Kangaroo. And I just, I don't know if any, anybody remember Captain Kangaroo, but anyway, I know I, I'm fascinated with kangaroos. Oh, uh, Teresa Nelson says, one day soon, uh, can you talk about what you're cooking, baking for Thanksgiving? Hey, we'll, we'll do a, we'll do that. We'll do a Thanksgiving edition where we can do that. If you guys want to do some Thanksgiving stuff, I would love that. That'd be cool. We could do that. Go over how to make the turkey, what we're doing with our turkey. I got a big turkey in the deep freeze right now. And in fact, I was trying, I just talking to my wife about the turkey, like, hey, babe, when should we pull that thing out? Because it's not going to thaw out in a day or two. It's going to take like what? A month? <laughs> we got like a 20 something pound turkey in the deep freeze. And I think it's going to take a, a long time for that thing to thaw out. So some of you guys, uh, yeah, we're going to bring some recipes. That'd be great. Yeah, baking a turkey. You know, I got a smoker. I I, I don't know if you guys like to do barbecues. I, I got this smoker that... I got in, um, and I'd like sometimes, you know, I put like uh, brisket in there and uh, some ribs or chicken or whatever. Uh, some of you may or may not be into that, but yeah, if you guys want to learn how to smoke some stuff, like use a smoker and put some mesquite wood. See, I live in Arizona, so here in the Southwest, you know, we're all about mesquite wood and barbecue. Uh, you know, Arizona, we're, we're Southwestern, so we're all about, you know, jalapenos and, and Mexicana, you know. It, uh, it's all about Mexican food and whatnot, but yeah. Um, oh, Teresa Nelson says, I love smoking salmon, chicken, and rabbit. Rabbit is something I have not had. <laughs> uh, rabbit, rabbit sounds good. I haven't had that though. Honest, to be honest with you. Uh, Sober Trades, he says, now I'm hungry. Well, come on over, my friend. We'll bring you over. What to do? I was thinking maybe at some point in time, Sober Trades, maybe, maybe me, you, Sober Trades, and uh market scraper maybe we can all three do a live stream together uh, you, i'll bring you on screen i'll bring market scraper on screen and maybe we can talk about like creator content or something we could figure out the three of us guys maybe we could just do like a live stream together uh, i think that would be bad that would be awesome i think it would be really cool if you're interested let me know we can put that together at some point in time or we can all get together i think it'd be cool like three youtubers together doing a live stream together and you know, sharing ideas and, and helping each other uh, come up with ideas for content and, and helping each other out. I think it'd be really cool. Like like for like an older guy for me, then because I could learn a lot from you guys because I try to learn a lot of this. I just wing it on my on my own. I'm just in my I mean, I got my 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 in home studio that I set up and I'm like brainstorming and I, I'll come on late at night and I'll talk to my I'll talk to my uh, my subscribers just in the middle of the night. And brainstorm. I'll say, hey, you know, and then, yeah, I mean, I got really good subscribers. They're good people. And my channel is like growing, but it's like really awesome people. But yeah, Silver Trade says for sure it would be fun if we can figure out a day and a time of day we're all free. Yeah, no, I, I get it, my friend. I know you got you got kids, and uh, I mean, I, my kids are pretty much leaving the the nest. Uh, I'm an empty, almost an empty nester. I got my daughter. And after that, I'm an empty nester. I'm a free man. So, yay. <laughs> I've got time. i got time for you guys on YouTube, you know. So, well, how awesome is that? Oh, uh, we got Darkland. Hey, Darkland. I think Darkland's also from Australia. We got a lot of Aussies in the house. Uh, you, uh, you people from Australia, you're amazing. I love I love my Australian subscribers. Uh, and like I said, anybody want to be a moderator on the channel, let me know. I'm looking to add some more moderators. Because as we start to grow the channel... Uh, word gets out, you know, we're, we're covering all this different stuff. We're going to cover uh, cold case murders, uh, different topics of interest, you know, just things that maybe be uh, kind of different than most uh, what you most YouTubers are talking about. Because, you know, I, mean, I think we're all starting to get anybody getting burned out on Gabby Petito yet. And the, I, mean, I mean, not that we don't uh, appreciate it, but is anybody getting tired of just banging, just pounding that? Gabby Petito, Brian Laundry, day in and day out. I, I still, to me, it gets uh, monotonous after a while. You know, it's just kind of like, I don't know. Anybody getting burned out on it? I, I kind of burnt, get in there, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it's what you guys want to talk about. Maybe that's I mean, all they want to talk about is Gabby Petito and Brian Laundry. But I mean, you got CNN and Fox and, you know, everybody high and low. You got Dog the Bounty Hunter on it. Everybody, kind of everybody covering it. 
Um, what we got in the comments? Oh, you got, oh, we got no new answers. Micah K says no new answers. Yeah, there's no new answers. And uh, I don't know if Brian Laundrie's dead, but if he is, then I guess he took the uh, he took the answers uh, to the grave with him. So it'd be just be like a mystery forever. But but yeah, uh, I think it's really cool the idea of like three YouTubers. Like like if you talk to uh, uh, Silver Trades, if you're still on, if you talk to uh, Market Scraper. Because I had I told him to contact me and, and we'll try to put something together. But I think it'd be really nice to have uh, other YouTube uh, creators uh, get together and and live stream it, and we can just like talk and just you know brainstorm together and just throw it live. I think that would be awesome. I really think it'd be cool to do that. Um, Micah K says that I am trying to solve the Kylan and Crystal case. Thank you. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. All the help we can get on uh, Kylan and Crystal. I mean, you know, think about it. The holidays are coming up. Uh, we're going into, uh, you know, we got Thanksgiving Day coming up. And think about, you know, the the families. They lost their their daughters, you know, and, and uh, Crystal uh, leaves behind some children. Uh, and, and the holidays, you know, going back to what our topic is tomorrow, loneliness. Think about Sean Paul Schulte, uh, Kylan's father. Think how lonely that, that poor guy is going to be uh, sitting at the Thanksgiving dinner table knowing that his daughter was just recently murdered and she's not even going to be there to enjoy that holiday. Poor guy. I mean, it's heartbreaking. It truly is. It's a, it's a tragedy. And, you know, I'm, I'm uh, sympathetic, empathetic, both. And I, you know, my heart goes out to him. You know, it's just, uh, it, you know, it's a, such a shame, but we're going to continue. If you guys want to keep doing this and like on Saturday, we'll do it again. If anybody has interest in doing this, we'll, We'll continue to look and see if we can get the killer to call the show. We'll reach out. We'll say, hey, look, you can stay anonymous. I'm not going to ask you your name. I won't even ask you where you're from, where you're calling from. You can call the show and just tell us what happened. Just You can just say, hey, maybe he's maybe he wants to brag about it. Maybe he's like proud of what he did. You know, maybe he thinks he did the right thing and he just wants to tell the world that he you know, save the world by doing what he did. Who, who knows? You know, who knows what's going on in the guy's mind? You know, so you, you never know. And, and, you know, maybe he doesn't want to talk about it. Uh, we got Lisa. Lisa says, hello, everyone. I am back. <laughs> well, welcome, Lisa. Welcome. I, I thank every one of you that, that just hopped on. I'm just doing a, having a cup of coffee on here, just talking with you all and talking about last night's show. It was really awesome. And I, want to thank everybody. We even got pranked by Howard Stern and the Howard Stern posse. <laughs> uh, Sober Trade says, my buddy uh, YouTuber, Financial Journey would probably be up for it too. He's been asking me to do one for a while. And this channel, oh, his channel has been growing very fast. That's awesome. Yeah, Sober Trades, that's cool. Yeah, you know, if you want to, we can put a whole bunch of us together. i you know, we'll see how many we can bring into the chat uh, all at once. And just we'll just create a live stream with us YouTuber guys, us YouTube creator, uh, content creators, uh, Sober Trades, Market Scraper, and uh, what is it, Financial Journey. Yeah, then we can take all of, all of us YouTubers, bring us together, and uh, we'll set up a date and a time uh, that works for everybody. And we'll, dis we'll discuss like creator content. Uh, and if there's something else you want to talk about, let me know. We got to get together. Uh, you should call me sometime. You got to give me my phone number. Uh, it's out there. Or if you, if somehow, uh, I can shoot my number over to you and have you call me later on and we can talk about it. You know, you get some free time. Let me know. All right. Uh, hit me up on Facebook. If you want to hit my Facebook, uh, I got my Facebook link in there somewhere, but, uh, hit me up on Facebook and we'll, we'll, uh, we'll share some ideas. And, but I'm, I think that'd be an amazing show to put together you know youtube creators together sharing ideas maybe uh problem solving maybe different issues or whatever and i think it'd be really you know i think it'd be a great idea cool show really uh alex k says how did you verify it was was howard stern i know it was howard stern because it's his posse and what it is is howard stern his guys will call in he's got his own posse that they prank people they call people and the the when he says uh baba booey that's Howard Stern. And then what happens is Howard Stern uh, will show it. He'll probably he'll play it on his show, and then they laugh about it. But I just I would just like to say that they might want to be careful because you're pranking a guy that's trying to help solve a murder. And if you're pranking me, and you you know I mean it's not okay. You're not gonna really offend me. 
because I'm a tough, I'm a pretty tough guy. I can take a beating, but you're going to piss off some other people and you might actually lose fans by doing that. So it's something that, something that Howard Stern should think about is kind of, kind of cheesy, you know, because they, because you can go on YouTube and watch Howard Stern's show and you'll see all the prank calls they do, which some of it is funny, but you know, you're talking about people that are dead. Okay. And you're coming on and you're pranking my show where I'm trying to help somebody that just lost a daughter or something. They're not going to think it's funny. You think Sean Paul Schulte thinks it's funny? I don't think he does. I don't think, I don't think anybody's going to think that's funny. So something to think about when you come on and prank me and I'm trying to help somebody out. So it's just something to think about. It's something to think about. Uh, Lisa says, did everyone get enough sleep this morning? <laughs> I don't know. That was a good question. I woke up and I was like, Man, I was like, I was, I felt good. I was like, I felt like we, felt like it was a good show. Okay, the, okay. Granted, the killer didn't call in. All right, but we learned a lot, and we were able to talk. And, and I, I got so much feedback from you guys and girls. I, and, and I was able to learn a lot. And you know, like I got my friend Sober Trades in the house right now, and we, all of us YouTubers working together, and you, the subscribers. You know, uh, you guys are what make this uh, make this possible. Without you, we could never do this. I mean, it, it wouldn't even be possible. But, no, I greatly uh, respect everybody and appreciate everybody. Uh, Micah K says, I did. How about you, Lisa? You guys are talking in here. That's awesome. i got good subscribers. Yeah, guys, hit the thumbs up, definitely. Anybody want to be a moderator for the channel? Hey, I got anybody else interested in being a moderator? Let me know. We're just having a cup of coffee, talking about some... Uh, show we're gonna do a show tomorrow night at 8 p.m. about loneliness. I want to thank all of you that are here right now, and uh, I do appreciate you. Uh, yeah, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And we're gonna talk about uh, loneliness in tomorrow night's show, eight o'clock Arizona time. The growing problem and the growing concern of the elephant in the room called loneliness. There's different types of loneliness, and we'll go over it all tomorrow. But I think it'll be a really good topic to discuss. You got to let you guys call in. Uh, share your own stories of loneliness. Maybe you're dealing with loneliness right now and you want to talk about it. We'll do that tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Uh, Teresa Nelson says, please announce ahead when you're doing your Thanksgiving show. And please, about 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. See, that's the problem is some of the people want to see this late. And I'm uh, the problem is I'm in Arizona. So, I mean, I know like on the East Coast, you guys are like three hours ahead. I'm trying to find some place in the middle but I don't know. It seemed like eight o'clock is kind of like a I don't know a comfort zone for some reason. But if that doesn't work, we'll we'll try to adjust it, try to accommodate everybody. Uh, but yeah, I'll let you know in advance. I'll talk to my wife tonight about um, Thanksgiving, and we'll talk about that. You guys want to do some Thanksgiving? I think that'd be really cool. And what about the pilgrims and all that stuff? You don't even see pilgrims anymore. Remember pilgrims and, and Indians? It's a uh, I don't I don't know if it's even polit politically correct anymore. We got Jessica Maples in the house. Hey, Jessica Maples, welcome. Good morning, Jessica. We got Lisa in here. It says, don't lose faith. It may take some time for the killers to hear about the channel to call in. And that's very true. That's very true. But social media is really powerful. I mean, think about Howard Stern's guys pranking us and all whatnot. You know what I mean? The FBI is watching our videos. We got investigators watching our videos. We are... We're, I know we, we are small. I, I agree I, I, that we uh, it's a small channel, but we're powerful and we all work together. And you guys, are, you guys are sharing these videos. You're getting the word out. You know, hey, there's a small, crazy YouTube guy called All American Dream Chaser. He's doing these weird shows. But it's that's how it's just getting out there by you guys spreading the word, sharing the videos and liking and subscribing. All that stuff's helping. And I man, I appreciate it. You guys are just awesome. You guys are kicking butt man we're just growing the channel little by little uh just come maple says okay so i seen someone in the chat last night and i just was not comfortable that's why i left uh was there somebody in the chat uh, harassing you see that's why i need some moderators if we get some bad people in the chat i need the moderators to come in and jump on them and and if you got to block them block them whatever you got to do uh because sometimes when i'm talking as I'm just one guy, and it's hard for me to talk. It's hard for me to uh, do a show and talk, and uh, and live, especially in live time, it's it's a whole different animal when you're doing this live. It's not like I got a chance to go edit it, so it's just raw. What happens happens, and I have no control. Like if we get somebody, some some a hole in the chat, I don't want my subscribers being attacked. 
uh, and I want my moderators to stop that. If you see anybody being uh, verbally beat up on or whatever in the comments, I want my moderators to please uh, stop that immediately. Uh, time them out, ban them, whatever you got to do. I, I just, I just, I want to keep our channel clean and good and healthy. And I'm not going to let my subscribers get uh, beat up on. We're not going to tolerate it. Uh, so I appreciate all of you that are helping with that. And Vicky Galan's in the house, and she says, I am lonely. Okay. Well, Vicky, tomorrow, let's talk about it. Come on the show. I'll, I'll let you call in. And I would love to have you uh, 8 o'clock Arizona time. So I don't know. You, wherever you're at, you just got to figure out uh, Arizona time, 8 o'clock in the morning. But we'll talk about that. We got... Uh, Micah K in the house. We got Patricia O'Donnell says, I remember Captain Kangaroo very well. Captain Kangaroo was awesome, man. It's like, you know, he's my guy back in the day as a kid. I know for some of you younger folks, you probably have no idea who uh, Captain Kangaroo was. And I remember when Captain Kangaroo passed away and I was like broken hearted, man. I was just like tore up, you know, like uh, it was him and uh, Mr. Rogers, man. I love Mr. Rogers, you know. Would you like to be my neighbor? I wish you were my neighbor. Well, you guys are my neighbors. <laughs> so so uh, Cheryl says that Eastern Standard Time is ahead of Mountain Standard Time. Uh, oh, Arizona. Cheryl, Cheryl, you're in Arizona? Awesome. Thank you, Cheryl. Uh, what part of Arizona are you in? I'm in El Mirage, Arizona. Uh, Lisa says, Jessica, you never have to feel uncomfortable on this channel, sweetie. Yes, exactly. No, uh, in all seriousness, um, I need some of you to volunteer for moderators. If you if you want to help keep the chat under control, uh, we gotta you know because we get some a holes in there. Uh, we need to we need to deal with it immediately. I don't want my subscribers being attacked. We're not we're not uh, we're not here for that. We're here to we're here to to do something beneficial to society. This channel is about being beneficial and mindset being beneficial and, and your your way of thinking health uh, i'm all about health mental health fitness uh being healthy overall uh mental fitness health uh, uh we're going to talk about cold case murders we're going to talk about uh real real situations real problems real concerns real issues that affect people on a daily basis people uh things that other people aren't talking about that are true issues that we don't talk about you know it just uh things that actually mean something me i want to i want to have meaningful content that people will have an interest in but it's also something positive or it can be positive yeah uh, you know so yeah definitely uh if you see somebody in getting beat up in the comments i mean if you're one of my moderators uh I, but the moderators it's a tough job you know that's why we need more moderators so if you are up for the task and you like to do it, uh, let me know. Uh, Teresa Nelson says, yes, but we can keep it about uh, food recipes. I like your taco show. <laughs> I appreciate that. I did a show uh, just for, uh, it's kind of just for everybody, I guess, just making some tacos. And I said, oh, why not throw it up here? I'll share it with my subscribers and uh, you guys. But no, uh, awesome. I, I'm glad you like that. Uh, tacos are it's a quick, easy dinner. You ever, guys ever want to make something quick and easy or just in a hurry? Tacos is the way to go. It takes like five, 10 minutes, man. You got, you got dinner done. Tacos are easy. Um, Teresa Nelson, Teresa Nelson says that my husband had moved out of state ahead of us. I became too tired so late and I am up so early. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rose Petal 71 says, hello, everyone. I had a girl found in Tampa Bay with Tampa name was wrong. Uh, family didn't want it released at the time, but I reposted after they put it out on the web. Hmm. Uh, Jessica Maple says that that hating guy, he has attacks and channels, and I see he is getting videos that are not his. That's why I said American Dream Chaser needs to watermark his video. Hmm. Well, let me know that that's happening. Somebody's still in my content. Uh, I can take care of that. Let me know. If you got uh, proof of that, let me know. I, uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes, you know, if they give me a shout out, like Monsters Under the Bed, he took some of my content, but he gave me a shout out for it. So that doesn't really bother me so much. You know, he jacked one of my pictures that I got from Shaylin that I posted on my channel that he used, but, you know, I'm not going to make a big deal about it. And I went on his channel and I said to Monsters Under the Bed, I said, hey, uh, thanks for the shout out, you know, but 
because he did put it in the comment section about you know he got he got uh the content from my video so i mean if you're gonna steal my content at least uh give me the recognition for it you know um oh cheryl you're down in tucson arizona take me down to tucson yeah tucson oh good old tucson tucson's a beautiful down there uh, not too long ago man the wife went down to tucson that's a beautiful place uh teresa nelson says i can't moderate because i never know if i can watch live late at night that's yeah, okay i understand not, not everybody can do it uh, moderating is a tough job uh and i understand if you can't do it it's okay it's okay i mean um i get it uh Cheryl says, any more word on the two ladies that were murdered? Uh, no, not not recently. That I can, that nothing. I mean, I'm still trying to reach out to the killer. Maybe uh, if you guys want to see that again, let me know. And we may do it on Saturday. We'll do it again at 8 o'clock Saturday. And we will reach out to the killer. And we'll say, hey, look, if you killed these two ladies, we want you to talk. But we got to let them know. We got to get the word out there. So please share the videos. And maybe we'll do it again. I want to see. I got a poll up on YouTube. If you guys want to take the poll, uh, let me know if you want to do that. If you want to, uh, if you want me to try that one more time. Uh, <laughs> Lisa says she just made some tacos. Tacos are good. Uh, Teresa says Lisa it was a fun show, and I only caught the last twenty to thirty minutes. Yeah, actually, it went pretty well, and I'm 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 very happy with everyone that has uh, subscribed to my channel and and joining my live streams and all that. And we are. Oh, Lisa's in uh, Wisconsin. It's cold. Oh, it's always snowing over there. Wow. I always say, thank God I live in Arizona, but then summer rolls around and it's like, oh man, I wish I lived in Wisconsin. It's <laughs> it's so hot. I wish I lived in Wisconsin. Uh, you know, but I'm in Arizona. I, I probably just stay here. I love I love Arizona. Overall, Arizona is a really beautiful place. Uh, Jessica Maple says. He didn't like it when I called him out that it's a that it's in his about section. It, it says he's a comedian and does prank calls. And then I felt like he was trying to get information to use on his channel. Huh? Who was who is that? I wonder. OK. Uh, hi. Good afternoon. Uh, Marie Heck says, hi. Good afternoon. It was a good show last night. What did your wife say? I'm sure that she's proud of you. I think my wife thinks I'm crazy, but no, she says she, she says I, I got a thing for it. So she she's good. Uh, Sober Trades says he's got to jump off now. Says, man, I appreciate you and love what you're doing with your channel. My email address is in my about page to contact me easier. Also, I can I can help mod on my days. Oh, that'd be awesome, my friend. I would love that. Uh, if you want to moderate my channel, that would be awesome, brother. I appreciate that, Silver Trades. You're a good guy, man. That's awesome. Yeah, I will. I'll put you as a moderator. Uh, I do appreciate that. Thank you. That'd be great. Uh, we'll have Silver Trades. Yeah, like I said, uh, anybody out there want to learn finance, you want to learn how to trade stocks, you want to learn how to invest your money, go check out my friend uh, Sober Trade. His channel is really awesome about stocks, finance, investments. He's really doing a, a good job with his channel. He's, he's growing his channel as well. We're just all a bunch of small YouTubers, but it's kind of cool when I have an opportunity to, to actually talk like in a live stream with another U YouTuber. It's really cool. I mean, we're just like a, we're like a little family out here. We got our own little thing going. It's a family of YouTubers. We're all trying to do our our own thing but uh total respect uh sober trace thanks for joining us i i do appreciate you uh chiming in i really do uh rose petal 71 says i know someone contacting everyone at wedding party that was by there they posted that they had all 42 names of guests today that's very interesting so some of you want to see another show reaching out so how many of you want to see me reaching out to the killer again on Saturday? I'd like, uh, just kind of get, trying to like to get an idea. Uh, Lisa says, yes, another show asking the murderers to call in. Uh, summers are nice. Lake Superior is beautiful in the summer for a road trip. Oh man, I love the Great Lakes. I, I miss it. I grew up in Ohio. I was born in Ohio, but well, I, I shouldn't say I grew up in Ohio, but I lived part of my life in Ohio, but, uh, you know, I moved to Arizona. I was just a little kid. So. Arizona to me is, is where my, my home is. Uh, Micah K says, that's good, Rose. Do you know anyone from the wedding party? Uh, we got uh, Teresa says, uh, Sober Trades, have a good evening. Um, yeah, Sober Trades. Uh, thanks, brother. Uh, Marie Heck says, hi, Micah. We got Micah. We got, who else we got in here? I got to get a hold of uh, Tamara, the alien lady. Let her know I'm looking for her. Tamara, Micah K. Um, yeah, Micah's in the house, right? 
Oh, yeah. Silver Trey says cheers, buddy, and everyone in the chat. Hope you all have a good weekend and have a good week. Take care, my friend. Yeah, enjoy your enjoy the rest of the day. Gretchen, Gretchen. Uh, I, was, I was looking for Gretchen. I forgot about Gretchen. Uh, Gretchen was in the uh, on my post in the community about the, uh, I think it was a poll. Uh, Gretchen, I was thinking about making you a, a, a moderator, uh, if you'd like to be a moderator. I'm going to put Sober Trades. I'm going to write that down. Sober Trades will be a, a moderator. Uh, bring a... I lost my pen. Hold on. It's a it's a live it's a live stream, so people drop pens. <laughs> so sober trades and uh, anybody else interested in becoming a moderator? Because as we grow this channel, as we grow the channel, we get bigger. And the chats are going to get crazier, and I just want to try to keep it from getting crazy. But yeah, if we can. Oh, oh, okay. Gretchen says I accept. All right, let me put Gretchen. Gretchen Dupree as a moderator i'm gonna have to uh go on the computer and I'll, I'll set that up but thank you gretchen thank you thank you thank you gretchen dupree so let me gretchen dupree yeah this, and this way when we do the live shows and if you get guys in there that are, are you know saying rude comments to people if you see somebody attacking a subscriber just do what you need to do if you need to time them out if you need to ban them Whatever it is you need to do. So I got on the, on here. I'm going to get uh, Tamara, the alien lady. Uh, Sunshine Moonbeams. I made her uh, a moderator. Uh, Micah K, Sober Trades, and Gretchen Dupree. And if there's anybody else in here that wants to uh, be a moderator, uh, let me know. It's a lot of work. It's 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 like a tough job. You know, you got to try to kind of keep things under control. And But, I mean, I, I got good subscribers. You guys are awesome. You guys are very intelligent. And, uh, you know, I know you guys know what you're doing, and I don't think we'll have a problem. But, yeah, um, so and I'll see if you guys want to do this whole thing with the uh, uh, Saturday night. So we'll hit it again. If we can open this guy up, if we can get this guy to talk, imagine how cool that would be. Uh, just imagine if he did decide to truly call in and talk. Wouldn't that be something? Would you guys, would you guys be interested in uh, if he did call, I mean, would you guys have an interest in, uh, I mean, I mean, I think it'd be fascinating to talk to, talk to him. Uh, so yeah, we got New York Thoven, New York Thoven, uh, NY Thoven in the house. Welcome New York Thoven. Uh, J Jessica Maple says, yes, reach out. Uh, Cheryl says, great. You're getting mods. You have to protect your channel. Yes. Yes, and that's why I, I I greatly appreciate having good moderators. If somebody gets out of line, because uh, you never know what they're going to say or put out there. And, you know, if you see, like, especially if I, if I, I don't want any of my subscribers being abused, you guys, uh, I have nothing but respect and love for my subscribers. I, every single one of you mean the world to me. And uh, I want to keep you. And uh, I love you guys. I mean, I mean that. You get to me. You're my friend. You're my family. Yeah, maybe I can't, you know, exactly see you, but I know you're here, and I know you're on my channel. So, no, uh, peace and love. I love you guys. You guys are in my house. You're in my kitchen with me. We're drinking some coffee right now. <laughs> Anybody else drinking some coffee right now? I'm I, I'm a big caffeine addict, so I love my caffeine. Gotta have my caffeine. It's either coffee or tea. Yeah, sometimes I'll drink decaf. You know, just it kind of depends. So anyway, uh, what we got here? We got uh, Lisa. I think I would have an accident if they called. <laughs> Lisa says she'd have an accident if they called. I think I would be happy if he called. If he called, I'd be happy. I'd be glad. I'd be. I'd be like good, very good. We want to hear his side of the story. And I think it would be great. Uh, Jessica Maple says, I've done your poll as well. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, for those of you that are unaware, I got a poll on my channel uh, about Saturday. If you guys want me to do this again, uh, like we did last night, where I, it'll be on Saturday if we do it. Um, but I need to get enough support. need to know you guys are truly uh, wanting to do that. Uh, and if the demand is there, you know, we'll do it. We'll do it on Saturday, but then we need to get the word out. I need I need you guys to spread the word everywhere, like TikTok, because I don't do TikTok, but some of you do. Uh, some of you do Instagram. I mean, I'm just one man trying to do this whole thing, but with your help, we can do it. We can get the word out, 
And you might put it on a platform that grabs his attention and he's like, whoa, somebody wants to talk to me about what I did. Yeah, I want to talk about it. You know, you never know. I mean, so we get out in front of his face and he sees it. Maybe he's on Facebook. Maybe he's on TikTok. Maybe he's on one of these social media platforms or reading an article because everybody's on social media now. So if he comes across it and sees it and knows that, hey, there's this guy that wants to talk to him and I'm not law enforcement. I'm just some YouTube guy. He might say, hey, what the heck? Why not? So you know, it's, it's a different a different angle. You just never know. You just never know. Um, so yeah, we're having some coffee over here in Arizona today. Uh, Gretchen says, have you tried to contact, uh, Miss Wells for the phone chat? Miss Wells, uh, I'm not really sure who you're talking about, Miss Wells. Um, uh, you guys have an opportunity tomorrow to talk about loneliness. Um, I got, uh, I'm trying to keep, read, keep up with your guys' uh, comments. Uh, Marie Hex says, you're going to get out there with all those other YouTubers uh, using your content. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not really sure. Uh, whoops, sorry, I, I bumped the uh, camera. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah, I mean, if, if we can get out there and let this guy know that I want to talk to him, uh, you never know. We might have quite an exciting show if he grabs the phone and decides. I mean, it's really easy. Everybody's got a cell phone. All he's got to do is call the number. That's all he's got to do is very easy. So if he sees the, you know, he might be sitting in a remote location. You never know. He might just be sitting in the mountains somewhere. But he's got a Wi-Fi signal. And he's like watching YouTube. And, you know, maybe he comes across our channel. And he's like, hey, who, what? Who's this guy? Hey, that's those two girls I killed, you know? Whoa. This guy wants to talk to me. What do you, what's this about? You know, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what happened. I I did what the voices in my head told me to do. You never know. You, you just never know what somebody's going to say. I don't know. You just never know. Uh, I know it's kind of a long shot, but hey, sometimes that wins the football game. You know, the, they say, hey, we're, you know, the, you ever watch football? And it's like, hey, we're down. We're down uh, seven points. We're, uh, we're going to lose the game, you know, and uh uh, you know, so what do they do? They, you know, they're down at the fourth down. They got, you know, they so they, hey, we do the Hail Mary. We do the Hail Mary. They throw the Hail Mary. Sometimes it works, and they and they score a touchdown, and you know, they win the game. And you know, and other times they fumble the ball and they, and they don't play out. But the Hail Mary. So it's kind of what I'm doing. I'm playing the football game. I used to play football. Yeah, so I'm doing the Hail Mary. Right? We're we're throwing a Hail Mary. It's it's a long shot. It's a Hail Mary. Sometimes it doesn't work, and sometimes you win the game, but you got to give it a try, right? So why not? So we're gonna try. If you guys are interested, we'll do it. We'll we'll uh, we'll give it a shot. If you guys are up for it, let me know Saturday if you guys want to do that. I got to get the the support of my subscribers to do it, and I need your help. We'll share the videos and all that good stuff. Like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button, and we'll get the word out and. Uh, this guy can can watch my video. Maybe he'll phone in. And maybe we will all be surprised and go, wow, he called in. Wouldn't that be something? You never know. You just never know. Stranger things have happened. Some of these guys like to talk. Some of them don't. Maybe this guy's really proud of what he did. Maybe he wants to brag about it. Never know. Never know. Um, Let me see here. What we got for comments? I'm going through the comments. Uh, Teresa Nelson says Candace broke down on Dr. Phil because she was told uh, that they found Summer. Yeah, I haven't really been keeping up with that case. There's a lot of them. There's just so many of them. It's hard to keep up with everything. But there's other YouTubers that are out there that are kind of focused on all these different cases. But it gets to a point where you're covering so many different cases. You start losing quality. It's hard to keep up with all the clues and all the tips and all the information coming in but like right now everybody's on gabby and you know brian and it's like i just kind of thinking maybe some people are starting to get burned out on it it's just after a day in and day out of gabby petito brian laundry day in and day out it's like how much gabby petito and brian laundry uh, before you just get burnt out you know it's just not that we don't appreciate it it's just like every day you know so tomorrow's gonna be a little different show we'll talk about loneliness we're going to talk about loneliness, and uh, we got some people that said they're lonely. I think uh, 
Vicky uh, came on and says she's lonely. And uh, if you are lonely, we'll talk about it tomorrow at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock p.m. on Arizona time. Um, so, yeah, if you haven't already, please hit the like and subscribe. And I, I want to thank you guys uh, for coming in and uh, joining this little chat. I just uh, wanted to have a cup of coffee, go over tomorrow night's show. I'm going to, uh, so we got uh, the list of moderators. I'm, I'll go over the, with the list of moderators one last time. Uh, Tamara, the alien lady, I need to get her uh, to make a comment so I can uh, grab her link. For some reason on that, I, I use that StreamYard app and I, I couldn't figure out how to grab her link so I could make her a moderator. Um, some of this stuff is, like I said, it's, uh, it's, um, kind of a learning curve for me. So I'm trying to learn how to do a lot of this stuff. But so anyway, uh, I need uh, Tamara alien lady, uh, Micah K. I, I know you're in the house. I'm going to make you a moderator, uh, sober trades. I'll make you a moderator and, uh, Gretchen Dupree, get Gretchen's going to be a moderator. And, uh, before we end the chat, anybody else want to be a moderator? Um, if you're up for the job of being a moderator, uh, let me know right now if you would. And uh, that way I get a chance. I'm, write, I'm writing it all down on who my moderators are going to be. And I, I'd like to congratulate you and thank you for doing that. It's a lot of work. And I, I greatly appreciate you guys that are helping grow the channel. Yeah, you, you know, you're, you're participating. And we're, we're coming up with more content. We're going to come up with better videos. I got my friend Sober Trades. He's from a finance channel. He just was in the house. Uh, we're going to probably put, a, get, put together a live stream with uh, some investors. If you guys want to uh, do that, I've got, I, I kind of get into investing. Uh, I don't know how many of you would, would be interested in that, but we might do like one live stream where we uh, get some other YouTubers uh, from the investment channel and we'll put something together. And we'll just go and uh, talk about creator content. And, you know, you may or may not have an interest in that that one, but that'll be later. And then we'll do a Thanksgiving. I don't want to do a Thanksgiving edition where we'll talk about the the Mayflower and the you know what was it? The, I can't remember all the other bolts. What is it with the 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 the, the Nina, the Pina, the Santa Maria, and <laughs> when the Pilgrims came over. And they landed at Plymouth Rock, and they got together with the Indians, and they sat down and had a big party and there's lots of food and turkey and pumpkin pie and i don't know what else do they have uh anybody drink that uh what's that other stuff uh it's not nutmeg but what's that i'm trying to think. Egg, eggnog any eggnog fans anybody gonna drink eggnog for the holidays any eggnog fans i don't know my daughter likes eggnog i'm like Ugh. anybody drink eggnog that's some i mean the non-alcoholic i know because there's two different types of eggnog you can get the the high power uh, alcohol formula, or you can get the, uh, you know, the stuff that I drink is just non-alcoholic. But, um, so yeah, anyway, oh, so we got eggnog fans. Uh, Ter uh, Teresa and, uh, Nelson and Ro Rosebud, are you guys saying, uh, you guys like eggnog? Is that is that about the eggnog comment? I'm thinking, hey, eggnog, everybody's gonna have eggnog. And what about cranberry sauce? Anybody have cranberry sauce? Yeah, cranberry sauce. Well, I, I don't know. Some people like cranberry. Cranberry, what about, uh, Oh, eggnog, yes. Everybody's into eggnog. Yeah, so you're going to have eggnog. Uh, pumpkin spice is, like, really popular. Cinnamon, the smell of cinnamon, cranberries. Uh, Micah, K says, <laughs> Micah K says no to eggnog. Uh, that sounds like my wife. My wife says no to eggnog. No on cranberry. I, I don't know. I, some people like cranberry. Uh, I just like cranberries. Uh, they have cranberry sauce. And what about a fruitcake? 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 Everybody's got fruitcake. I don't know. Some people love fruitcake. I'm not a big fan of fruitcake. Now I got a, my mother-in-law makes a date nut bread. Uh, and it's just the most amazing date nut bread, you know, and uh, that's something we enjoy around the holidays. Um, Lisa, uh, Teresa Nelson says cloves. Uh, Lisa says, I love cranberry sauce with, ra with raspberry jello and cold whip. No to eggnog. Sorry. <laughs> that sounds good. Actually, sounds really good. Uh, raspberry Jello and Cool Whip that sounds pretty good. Uh, Teresa Nelson says uh, sage, sage sausage stuffed pumpkins. Hmm, yeah, that does sound pretty good too. That sounds really good. And Gretchen is uh, saying yum. Gretchen Dupree says yum. Yeah, that sounds good. 
So yeah, we'll have to do some. We'll we'll put something together for Thanksgiving, and we'll go over some uh, recipes. We'll go over with some ideas, and and uh, we'll we'll live stream some of that if you guys like that. I think that would be really cool. To talk about maybe maybe I come up with a, a drink. I got a hey like a you know I somebody take like a coffee, you know, put like a hot chocolate with it. Um, and then a little bit of a pumpkin spice with it. I don't know. You guys ever try any of that kind of stuff? We got like a, my daughter's into, um, you know, you gotta make it these little fancy coffees. I think Starbucks got her into it, but you know, you go, you make your coffee, you put a little hot chocolate in there. You add a little cinnamon, you add a little this and that, you know, a little chocolate, a little pumpkin spice. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. She's got, we got a little Starbucks up here on the counter. And my daughter, she just goes to town with all kinds of different flavors, you know, just me. I'm just a, a regular black coffee guy. I just do a little regular black coffee. I just, I, you know, took me a while to get used to it, but I, but I drank it for years. And, you know, I, I, I try to avoid the added calories, the added sugar. But, uh, you know, I guess you can make an exception an exception for the holidays, right? Uh, Lisa says, I wish we could post pictures in the comments. Uh, recipes could be exchanged. I wonder if you could go into the community thing up there and maybe do that. Uh, if nothing else, uh, you guys can follow me on Facebook if you like, and we can share recipes on Facebook, which if you want to do that, I uh, posted uh, in the description of the video yesterday. I put my link for uh, uh, Facebook. I'm, I might leave it in this one as well. Uh, if you guys want to check that out, I'll, I'll put the, uh, the link for my Facebook, and you guys can keep up with me on Facebook. Uh, what we got? Rose Petal says, uh, Rose Petal 71 says, I've added hot chocolate to my coffee before. I'm a big coffee drinker. I love coffee. I, I'm a caffeine addict, but yeah, a uh, little, yeah, a little hot chocolate is good. I put, put a little bit of hot chocolate in your coffee and you can add like some uh, pumpkin flavor. Like we got some pumpkin spice we put in there. Uh, you know, I thought, man, I should get my daughter on YouTube. Maybe I can get my daughter to show you guys how to do it because she, she's always adding stuff. Maybe I'll bring, bring my daughter on YouTube and get her to show you guys her little recipes that she does. She's always got something neat she's cooking up. Um, uh, Gretchen Dupree says, heck yeah, I love coffee and I love alcohol. Easiest to make is uh, hot chocolate and pepper peppermint snaps. That's awesome, Gretchen. Uh, Ter Teresa... Uh, Teresa Nelson says Russian tea has pineapple, uh, orange juice, cloves, sugar tea. It's so delicious. Wow. That's awesome. Uh, Michael K says, I intend to just throw some spices together and, and if it turns out good, <laughs> and it turns out good. Uh, my favorite is chocolate covered garlic. Don't knock it till you try it. Chocolate covered garlic. That's interesting. I've never tried that, but that sounds very interesting. T uh, Lisa says, TJ Maxx has Starbucks coffees, 18 ounces for $7.99 a bag, whole or ground. I bought three bags yesterday. That's a good deal. Uh, yeah, especially they're talking about the run up on coffee. That's uh, Coffee's going to be going up here soon. Yeah, buy your coffee now. Buy it now before the prices go up. They're talking about inflation. Uh, yeah, Gretchen Dupree says that sounds very good. Micah K says, I always put hot chocolate in my coffee. I, I do that too sometimes, you know. Uh, once in a while, you know, on a rare occasion, I'll throw a little hot chocolate in my coffee. It, it, it's pretty good. It is. Uh, <laughs> Gretchen Dupree says, oh, my God, Micah, why? <laughs> chocolate on garlic. <laughs> Micah says, Gretchen, it's so good. <laughs> well, you know, try it out, I guess. You know, I, I use garlic like in a lot of recipes with, you know, making chicken or, you know, like uh, some sort of Alfredo pastas or something, you know, some sort of Italian food, but. Yeah, uh, they say it's good for you. They say uh, 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 they say garlic is really good for your health, uh, good for your blood pressure and everything else. So it's a good health food. Um, Teresa Nelson says that I had mint cocoa at a restaurant, and they said it was Lando Lakes. Oh, wow. That's really cool, Lando Lakes. I've been there before, a long time ago. Uh, Lisa says we put herbs in our coffee grounds, then we mix it with hot chocolate. Uh, mask some of the herbs that taste not so good. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, some people do some really cool stuff. That's you might have your own little product you created. It's awesome. Uh, Michael K says chocolate covered garlic came out, uh, came about when I had a mouthful of chocolate. <laughs> I had a mouthful of chocolate and I ate a, a piece of garlic. That's funny. Well, uh, Michael K says that I decided to make chocolate covered garlic. 
Uh, Gretchen Dupree says, sounds gacky. <laughs> Micah Kay's, a, a happy marriage on the pellet. Yeah, that's that's an interesting uh, combination for for sure. Uh, Lisa says, sorry, Micah, we're going to stick with some homemade chocolate-covered cherries. And Lisa, um, Micah says, Lisa, to top it off with a piece of garlic. So we got some garlic fanatics. I got some minced garlic in a jar. It's in the fridge. And I, I throw that in with, uh, you know, almost everything. Yeah, a little bit of garlic with everything. It's, it turns out really good. So uh, anyway, uh, the coffee's gone. I'm going to end this broadcast, but uh, I wanted to thank each and every one of you once again before we, we end this. And I uh, so tomorrow night, uh, we're going to go ahead at 8 o'clock p.m. Arizona time. We'll talk about loneliness tomorrow night. And uh, I'm going to make you guys moderators. Uh, Tamara, the alien lady, Sunshine Moonbeams, Micah K, Sober Trades, and Gretchen Dupree. So... All right, uh, I'm going to end this out, but thank you guys so much. And uh, uh, follow me on Facebook if you like. And we'll, we'll uh, share some uh, Thanksgiving recipes. So, all right, you guys have a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. All right, take care. Goodbye. <laughs>